Okay, so if you want to know what the most mind-blowing thing in the sky looks like, check out Betelgeuse. It's this crazy, huge, red supergiant star. Seriously, if you swapped it with our sun, it would stretch all the way out to Jupiter's orbit. Now, this star is super unstable and could blow up any minute. When stars go supernova, it's a big deal. It can shake things up in space, even stuff we can't see. We can't see it super clearly, but a lot of people, like Brian Cox and other smart astronomers, think it could explode soon. The James Webb Space Telescope is picking up some wild images of Betelgeuse, and people are getting anxious about when it's going to explode and what it'll do to us here on Earth. So, what's the deal with this bright star in the Orion constellation that even ancient people noticed? It is super bright. It's on Orion's eastern shoulder which is why some people call it a shoulder star. And it's got this weird red color, which, like we'll see, could be a bad sign. People have been watching Betelgeuse a long time. This Greek dude TMY saw it way back when. Back then, color was the first thing people noticed about stars, and he said it looked reddish-orange, not great. Now, scientists are watching it super close, and they're figuring out why it's so bright. One thing is that it changes brightness, like, a lot. In 2019, it started doing some new, weird stuff. It dimmed way down, and experts were scratching their heads, trying to explain why one of the brightest stars was acting so strange. They think Betelgeuse could go supernova anytime. Brian Cox, who knows a ton about science and explains it on TV, thinks it's a ticking time bomb. The James Webb Space Telescope is backing him up with some crazy pictures. All this weirdness is making people wonder, what's up with Betelgeuse? Is it really gonna explode? Even though it's being so strange lately, it is a candidate for a supernova. They don't know when it will happen, but because it's almost twice as big as the sun and massive stars are way more likely to explode. But here's where it gets even weirder. Scientists are using the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory to check out Betelgeuse. They found some weird light waves popping off the stars. Plus, Betelgeuse is a variable star, so it changes brightness. People saw it had dark spots, kind of like sunspots, but they were on a different schedule. It was switching between bright and dim twice as fast as before. Another weird thing is that in February 2021, it dimmed down to a brightness band of plus 1.61. This came after a huge dimming, which made people worry that it was close to the end. That big dimming in 2019 and 2020 had experts thinking it would blow up in 100,000 years. But then, it got brighter again, which confused everybody. A Harvard physicist said it was 150% brighter than normal, making it the seventh brightest star in the sky. Researchers saw a red glow coming from the south, and they were even more confused. This made people come up with lots of ideas about why it dimmed so much. It's true that not every star has the red glow that Betelgeuse does. This glow marks it as a red supergiant star, the end of that star's life right before it dies. This red comes from its surface temperature around 3,500 Kelvin. This is a lot cooler than our sun's outer layer, which is about 5,500 Kelvin. So, because Betelgeuse is cooler, it doesn't blast out as much energy, even though it's way bigger and about to explode. Does that scary dimming of it really mean it is going to supernova? Well, it being a red supergiant means it's near the end. Stars in this phase usually dim down as they die, which scientists can spot. But still, Betelgeuse is being so weird. It has scientists monitoring it all the time and very closely. Researchers don't totally get what's going on with Betelgeuse. They're watching it like a hawk with super powerful instruments. The James Webb Space Telescope is one of their favorites. Since it launched in 2021, it's given astronomers a bunch of new stuff to look at. The pictures it took of the dimming show that it shot out a ton of stuff like 400 billion times more than a regular coronal mass ejection. The James Webb Space Telescope can also see light that we can't, which is really helpful. The dust clouds forming on the star's surface are strange. It looks like floating leaves. 
Even though Betelgeuse is probably going to die soon, scientists are waiting for it to blow. Who knows when it'll happen? I mean, they think it's way bigger than the sun. They thought it would shine for ten more years, but given how weird it's been, who knows if that's still true. For now, scientists don't think it'll explode super soon, but when it does, it'll be the first supernova we've seen since the 1600s. They don't think it's happening soon because they're still scratching their heads about what the star's doing. Even with all the uncertainty, when Betelgeuse explodes, it's going to be amazing and rare. When it goes supernova, it'll shoot out a crazy amount of energy, shining brighter than the whole galaxy for a bit. We'll be able to see it from Earth as bright as the moon. But don't worry, it won't hurt us because it's over 600 light years away. Still, it'll let scientists study what happens when a massive star dies. The death of a star like Betelgeuse isn't just cool for scientists. It reminds us how huge and weird the universe is. These stars are super important because they fill space with stuff that makes new stars, planets like Earth, and maybe even life. When they die, they send all that stuff out to make new things. So, scientists are still watching Betelgeuse, trying to figure out what it'll do next. With every new thing they find, we learn more about the universe. And maybe, someday soon, we'll see one of the coolest things in space. Betelgeuse going supernova. Until then, we'll see it in the sky, reminding us how strange life in the universe can be. Astronomers and sky enthusiasts are waiting for Betelgeuse to turn into a supernova. It's currently unstable. This started speculation about what is going OT happen. Using advanced tools like the James Webb and Hubble Space Telescopes, astronomers have been peeking into the behavior of this remarkable star. Betelgeuse does these erratic, fluctuating, scientists are inspecting the data to try and understand what is causing it so they will know when shifts might happen. And this is like saying, a violent supernova might be just around the corner, even possibly meaning the end of the red supergiant. The question still needs answering. Will Betelgeuse explode in just a few years or take a much longer? Betelgeuse is almost twice as big as the sun, which means it could go supernova. Usually, stars that are a few times bigger than the sun are the ones that might blow up. Scientists are using all of the tools they have, like the James Webb Space Telescope, to figure out Betelgeuse. What they have seen is still a secret. Betelgeuse was born a long, long time ago. Since then, it has been sending weird signals, and the future is uncertain. What did they see? There are some strange light waves, and Betelgeuse changes brightness, going from bright to dim quickly. Researchers saw that in February 2021, the star's dimming reached a brightness of plus 1.61. This was not long after the star had a massive dimming and raised alarms that Betelgeuse might be at the end. The dimming between 2019 and 2020 made experts think the star will explode in 100,000 years. But when it got brighter after the dimming, it became more confusing. One of the scientists, Andrea DRI, said that the star was much brighter than before, making it the seventh brightest star in the sky. Scientists were surprised to see a red glow come from the south. This led to many theories about what caused Betelgeuse to dim. Not every star glows red like Betelgeuse does. The red glow marks Betelgeuse as a red supergiant star, which means it is the last phase of the star. This red color means the temperature is 3,500 Kelvin, which is cooler than the sun. Since Betelgeuse is cooler than the sun, it sends out less energy. We need to consider the dimming event. Brian Cox asked if it means that Betelgeuse will go supernova. The supergiant phase means that it is almost over. Supergiant stars will often dim as they die. Betelgeuse has been doing weird things recently, so scientists are focused on watching. Multiple telescopes are watching this dimming and trying to learn more. Scientists are still trying to know more about Betelgeuse. With the tools from the James Webb Space Telescope, Scientists have extra data about Betelgeuse. The pictures have shown that the event saw a mass ejection. The James Webb Space Telescope can see what humans cannot see. 
Researchers have observed that there were dust clouds on the surface. No one knows the exact moment, but scientists are expecting Betelgeuse to shine for the next 10 years. No one is sure if that is true after the dimming. For now, scientists do not expect the star to explode. When it does, it will be first supernova in a long time. Scientists are still trying to understand what the star is doing. When Betelgeuse explodes, it will send a lot of energy. The supernova event will not be a threat to Earth because of how far away Betelgeuse is. It will be an opportunity for scientists to study how stars die. The demise of Betelgeuse is as a lesson to the universe and stars play a role. The death is just a transformation as it releases elements. In the meantime, scientists are piecing together the future and trying to understand it. The day it turns into a supernova will capture the attention of everyone. The telescopes have provided new insights into what this star is doing. The changes it has could a sign of explosion. Whether it explodes soon or later scientists continue to monitor. Throughout history, stars like Betelgeuse have gotten interest. The red giant means Betelgeuse is the final stage of its life. This means that the nuclear fuel will soon die. The event of explosion will change the surroundings. The explosion is believed to happen in our lifetime. The James Webb Space Telescope is providing information about the stellar evolutions. The explosion will leave elements. This means elements will form new planets and eventually life. This also will show an example of cycle. Astronomers are still watching stars in similar stages. The telescopes are helping to better understand the forces. For stars dying may seem like an event, but it is still a step in the cycle. The components that the star will release will form life. Until the day scientists will study Betelgeuse. The discoveries will help learn more about the processes that govern the life cycle. The universe makes the fate for this star and it serves as a reminder for the cosmos.